Hey YouTube, it's Lex. So, um, today is Sunday, um, November 18th, 19th, 20, 19, 20? <laughs> I guess I could look on my phone. <clears throat> anyway, um, so uh, it's been a little over a week since my last video, um, my video on shoes. Thank you for humoring me. Um, it was fun to do, but uh, this week, okay, so November 20th. Um, so this week, uh, I thought I'd give you an update, um, tell you what I've been doing, and um, talk about something a little <clears throat> more on the serious side. Um, so first my numbers uh this morning um i was 202 so i think that's a two pound loss from last week um so not spectacular but i'm still pretty happy with it considering what um i was doing all week <clears throat> uh made it to the gym today actually got uh, about 30 minutes of cardio and some uh, some circuit in so that was good um, and it felt good. Uh, I didn't feel too weak. Um, so hopefully my energy is coming up and getting the protein thing down a little better. I'm learning that if I split up my protein shakes um, and I'm only taking in uh, half um, at a time, it's working better. Uh, I don't know if that's because, I, and I don't know if it's a rumor or not, but some people have said that you can't process more than a certain amount of protein at one time. Um, but it seems to be working. My protein shakes, I get them from Costco, and they're 30 grams of protein um, in a serving in a, in a, one of the cardboard containers. So yeah, I'm taking in about 15 grams at a time. And then um, trying to get in as much um, you know, dense protein as I can. So this past week, my husband and I took a little trip. His birthday was Friday the 18th. Uh, we went out to Chelan, which is kind of a vacation destination here in, in Washington, in uh, the eastern part of Washington. Uh, it was snowing over there. It was very quiet. Uh, we went to a casino. I don't gamble, but that was kind of fun. We didn't lose any money actually got a little bit, but uh, I had a couple of drinks there, went over and had dinner at a wonderful winery, um, Chelan Cellar, Wapato Cellars, I'm sorry, Wapato Cellars, and uh, yeah, lovely dinner there. Um, I had shrimp, I had salad, I even had a tiny bit of rice, um, it was delicious. I didn't eat much, but what I had was, was great and it didn't bother me. And I am finding that a lot of foods, um, that just don't make me feel good like they used to. I'm kind of falling out of love with food, but you know, that's why we have this weight loss surgery, um, to a certain extent, you know, I mean, I was a huge foodie. I am still a huge foodie, but just a lot of the foods that I I love to eat before, like pastas, I can't, so it's okay. Um, so I covered the numbers, yeah, so we went to Chelan, we had a wonderful time, we were only gone a couple of nights, stayed in the bridal suite, right on the water, right on the lake, it was beautiful, and uh, drove back, we had a couple of hockey games yesterday. Um, so that took up most of the day and, uh, yeah, it was just really, really good time, but, uh, a lot more, I think, or a lot of stuff that maybe I wouldn't have ordinarily I ate crackers. I ate a lot of crackers, I guess, over a span of time. Um, cheese. I mean, I, I eat cheese anyway. I don't think it's a bad thing, but, uh, I ate a lot of really high fat cheese some peppered gouda and you know probably wasn't the best anyway um so i saw a video from banded wendy uh last week 
think it was last week, early, early last week, and I wanted to respond to it, um, but I wanted to give some thought to it before I uh, made a response video. And her question, she's had another one since, but this was, what made you fat? Um, and everybody's so different. Um, they talked, uh, Wendy and some of the other response videos talked about emotional eating and, um, you know, I think for me, it's all really tied in all together. Um, originally, you know, I, I started my first diet, um, pretty much against my will at nine. Uh, my mom was on something called the Stillman's quite a bit like, uh, some of the other high protein diets. Um, and she would eat just grilled steak and grilled chicken and drink water. Maybe there were some eggs in there and that was it. So that's the diet she put me on at nine. And I have no idea what it did to my metabolism, but I know what it did to me psychologically. <clears throat> I wasn't, um, what I consider to be an overweight child. Um, but, you know, I come from a family of people with eating issues. And so that played itself out early, early on. Um, we also had very limited access as, as children, my sister and I. My mom had her food. Um, and then we had what she felt like feeding us. Um, and oftentimes it was a lot of stale crackers and chips and, you know, I don't know how many kids like uh, cream of mushroom soup, but that was always around. And I think some Campbell's, um, uh, chicken noodle soup. And then she would fix us dinners. <clears throat> and of course she was part of uh, the clean plate club. So what you were served, you ate, um, and so I, I developed poor eating habits early, early on. And I developed a habit of hiding, uh, when I would eat. And if I had access to something that was good, uh, I would eat a lot of it at one time. So, uh, probably stretched my stomach out pretty badly. And we were, we were athletes. You know, we played soccer. We were in track. Um, so very active all the time and uh then around um I, I guess i was maybe 10 or 11 uh i had an incident with a family member that was hidden for a very long time but um after after that incident with this male family member i uh I packed on i packed on weight any way I could. And, uh, you know, it's not really fair to have it be an excuse as an adult. Um, but you know, it, those things follow you around. So there was that. And, and then, you know, around about 15 or 16, my activity level diminished significantly. Um, I, I would no longer played soccer and, uh, and we were doing the track and we were doing a lot of just kind of hanging out with our friends. And, uh, so, uh, so I struggled a lot with, with weight during that period of time, although I managed it to, to keep it under control. I kept it under control by, uh, just not eating. Um, you know, so I would binge occasionally and just then just not eating anything in between. Um, so, the portions, you know, when I did eat were quite large and then, you know, the kind of weird food hoarding, hoarding or like, um, hiding, uh, that led to a lot of it and rebellion against my mother and her control of the food. Um, when I got my first job, uh, it was in a restaurant. I could eat what I wanted there and I did, um, I would take food home. It was my food. I could afford to have food. My sister has similar habits in that she will have her food. Um, I've learned, you know, I have a daughter and I have a husband and I've learned, you know, 
that I don't have to do that. But by that time, you know, I'm carrying around so much weight. And I, I became a foodie, worked in restaurants, um, you know, when I was younger and uh, worked in nice restaurants and cultivated my food tastes. A lot of high fat food. Um, later on, I worked at a, a Chinese restaurant, a uh, high end Chinese restaurant, and was able to lose some weight because the food was a lot healthier. Um, <clears throat> and I was doing a lot of walking during that period of time. So I got fairly thin, uh, 160, I think, was my lowest during that period of time. And I was probably 21. And then after that, you know, I just kept gaining weight. I stopped walking, stopped walking to work and just kept gaining weight. And I was just loved food, loved to eat it, loved to share it, loved to talk about it, loved to cook it. Um, and I'm 43 now. Uh, a while back, I had hoped to get the surgery. My friend, um, Cassandra, she had gone through and gotten hers at my uh, prompting and uh, thought at that time that I was also going to be able to do it. It just didn't happen. And that was pretty disappointing. I was back in my 30s. So uh, when I finally got the surgery, I just was uh, overjoyed and couldn't believe that I'd somehow managed to get actually get there. And I still can't believe it some days. So those are the reasons why, why I'm fat, why I gained so much weight. Some of it, emotional eating. Yeah. I don't know. Can you really separate? If you're a foodie, can you really separate emotional eating from not? I don't know. So um, that's my response video. I'd welcome comments. Always curious about why other people got where they got and what prompted them to have the surgery. Um, maybe we'll do a video about that. Um, how I came across the whole weight loss surgery idea. I don't know. Maybe not. We'll see. Anyway, so that's it. Um, cover the numbers. Next week is Thanksgiving. I'm not really too worried about it because I'm not a huge turkey Thanksgiving fan. Uh, there's a lot of other things I'd rather eat um, than turkey. <clears throat> but we're going to do a, a smoked turkey and my mom and um, hopefully the kids will be here. We'll see. Anyway, I hope everybody's doing well, and uh, I will see you next time. Take care.